What's up guys, my name's Tucker, I'm doing a new video on the new Pokemon games. If you're wondering why you should watch me, or watch this video on the new Pokemon game, it's because I've played Pokemon since Gen 1, I love Pokemon, I've seen every episode, I used to wake my parents up at 5am every morning just to watch it when I was a kid, um, I know a lot about it, and yeah, it's just been my favorite game ever since I was a kid. But anyways, to get into the meat and potatoes of this, a rumor's been going around that there's going to be only 10 new Pokemon in this new game. 10 new Pokemon, which I don't believe that rumor at all. That just makes no sense. Like, Nintendo is known for capitalizing. Like, po po Pokemon is their, like, biggest title. So it would make no sense at fucking all for Nintendo to just add 10 new Pokemon. Now, what I believe is going to be is 10 new Mega Evolutions. Because, as you know, last gen they added all the new Mega Evolutions and, like... All that stuff. So, what I believe is going to happen is this gen they're going to add 10 new Mega Evolutions and we're probably going to get like 150, 200 Pokemon like normal. Because them adding 10 Pokemon just wouldn't make sense. They wouldn't make like near as much money because like they, as soon as you make the new Pokemon they're going to sell toys, figures, cards, all that stuff. They wouldn't make near as much money. Like, there wouldn't be a new TV show, so you wouldn't get money on that. Like, they just have a lot more, like, there's no reason for them to only do 10 Pokemon. So I think that that's just, like, a fabricated rumor, like, everything else going on right now. And Pokemon's definitely gonna have, like, 100, 200 Pokemon. We just have to wait and see. I was surprised, because we were supposed to get information this April about the game, and I hadn't been watching anything. So I was like, ooh, they probably released, like, the new starters and legendaries and stuff. But no, they haven't. And the other reason that I think that 10 Pokemon for this new game just makes no sense, and if you're wondering what I mean by, like, 10 Pokemon, they've only said they're going to make 10 new Pokemon is what the rumor is. The other reason why that wouldn't make sense is because... So we have starters and legendaries, and this is a whole new game. Pokemon Sun and Moon is a whole new game. So every single Pokemon game thus far, if unless it was a remake. So, say, like, they remade um, Silver and Gold, my favorite. They remaked Red and Blue, Fire Red, Leaf Green, Soul Silver, Heart Gold, um, Omega Ruby, Alpha Sapphire. Unless this is a remake of, like, Diamond and Pearl or some shit, which I don't believe it is. It's a whole new name, Sun and Moon. Um, they're not going to, like, add only 10 new Pokemon. They wouldn't make a whole new Pokemon game just to screw us over by saying... There's only going to be 10 new Pokemon in this new Pokemon game. Why would we have a new area, new gym leaders, like, new items, just so that they could throw 10 new Pokemon? Why would they make a game just for 10 new Pokemon? That wouldn't happen. Um, I just don't, I can't see them, I can't see Nintendo ever doing that, especially with one of their biggest titles. They would not ever risk, like, changing up the mechanics, like... The reason Pokemon has stayed the same game for so long and they haven't changed anything or really... Like, the reason Pokemon still comes out, the reason it's still around 20 years later, and the reason people still buy it and it, like, gets pre-ordered the shit and there's midnight releases for it and all these events is for one simple reason. Because it's simple, it's fun, and it hasn't changed and the mechanic never gets sold if you add new stuff. Like, so the mechanic, if you've never played Pokemon, which is kind of really weird, is that it rotates... So you can you can have Pokemon, six Pokemon in your party. You pick one Pokemon. They have four moves. You can put the mo you can customize your moves. Pick which ones you want. They have three evolutions and sometimes a Mega Evolution. My Mega Whale Lord and Typhlosion is what I would want. Also, if they do side note, if they do make new Mega Evolutions, um, the, my top three picks would be Typhlosion would be number one because if I would love for the Silver and Gold starters to get new Mega Evolutions. Even though, um, from some of the, like, trailers and stuff, too, and some of the stuff we've seen leaked, it seems like there's gonna be something different besides Mega Evolutions, like, a new way to Mega Evolve, because, like, we've seen, like, trailers and, like, like, Voyagers and stuff, the person with the staff, who looked like he was evolving for, like, a dark energy thing, so there's definitely gonna be new ways for, I think, for the Pokemon to Mega Evolve. Another, like, theory, there are some theories I actually believe with and agree, like, uh, Another theory is that this is going to be connected to X and Y because there was a legendary Pokemon, I don't remember his name exactly, but he started with a Z, like Zygarde or something, and he had a tunnel, and that tunnel was like on the outskirts of the um, sea, and it was like not, it was like way off at the end of the map, there was nothing else connected to it, there was nothing there except for that tunnel, and there was also a train station that went nowhere, so what would be really, really, really cool is if they connected X and Y with the newest game, so like, like when you played Silver and Gold, you could go back and beat the gym leaders and 
um, and red and blue, and the gym leaders were, like, level 60 Pokemon, and you could beat, like, um, red, who had, like, level 80, and it'd be really, really cool if they did that with X, um, with Sun and Moon. Some other things I'd love to see, love to see the beauty pageants come back, those were always fun, um, even if some people didn't like them, I liked them a lot. Um, one thing that people don't, won't remember, but one of my favorite game modes you could do was, like, they had the battle islands and stuff, but there used to be one game mode where, like, they would give you random Pokemon, and it was, like, all level 50 or level 100, you get random Pokemon, and you could, like, use those Pokemon and, um, fight and stuff like that, and I always thought that was really fun, just not knowing what I was getting and picking, and you could pick one Pokemon when you defeated an opponent if you wanted to take it and replace it with the one you had. Um... I'd love to see them bring back, um, like, a bigger Safari Zone's always nice. I'd love to see them bring back... The biggest thing is the cell phone. So in Silver and Gold, you had this cell phone that you could call people on, and you could rebattle trainers, and you could, like... So, like, a trainer would call you up, they'd either tell you, like, a herd of Pokemon was here, if there was a herd. There could be a shiny located somewhere. Um, they could tell you about that. Or they could just say, I want to battle you again. It let, it let the game last forever. Because, like, I've played games where I've run out of people to fight, except for, like, in certain places. And I like the idea of being able to fight people, like, trainers again with stronger Pokemon. Because at some point, like, at the end of the game, like, after you beat the game, trainers would call you. And you'd beat them, like, play them at the beginning of the game. And now they have, like, level 60 Pokemon that have evolved and stuff. And I think that was really, really neat. Um... The walking thing was always cool. It wasn't a big hit, but, like, I liked how it made people want to walk more because you had... Which I hope Pokemon Go will do. Um, it made people want to walk more because you had a thing. But um, your mom being able to keep your money and, like, buying stuff was a really cool idea. Um, I liked that a lot. Unknown caves were always awesome. But my biggest thing would just be the cell phone. The cell phone in general was, like, my favorite thing about Silver and Gold. That... Or being able to, um, walk, like, being able to see your Pokemon walk behind you is the coolest thing mechanic ever. I have no idea why they ever got rid of that, but I really hope they bring that back. I know they won't. But the cell phone and being able to see your Pokemon walk behind you would be the two major things on my list. Next, I want to talk about Pokemon Go, which Pokemon Go, I'm going to definitely be doing. It looks amazing, really fun, but I had a couple of questions for it. So, like, number one, so say, like, I don't drive and stuff like that. How will I be able to catch Pokemon? Like, are there just going to be tons of Pokemon everywhere? Or are there going to be only, like, in small places can I capture Pokemon? And also, like, and, like, because, like, I saw, like, in, like, there was people in the mountains and stuff, so if you don't, like, go adventuring or go out a ton, will Pokemon just come to you? Because there's Pokemon everywhere. So they just come to you, like, certain types. So, like, say I live in the city. Will, like, Pokemon that would be found in the city come to me? Or if I went to, like, a place with water, would I be able to catch water Pokemon? Or would it just be like only really small spots have it? And um also another thing with Pokemon Go, which could be really cool, is like if I would love for them not to make it like pay the play because that'd be really annoying. Because like I feel like if I bought the watch and invested my time in the Pokemon Go, I don't want to have to pay like fifty cents to a dollar just to get a Pokeball that might not catch a Pokemon. Um I feel like they should give you on limited Pokeballs, but, like, you could charge for something else, like, a better chance, or... Well, no, not a better chance. I don't feel like... So, I don't feel like you should be able to buy anything that helps you catch Pokemon. I feel like they should just, like... It should be fun. They should let you explore. Stuff like that. I hope, also, the battle system works really well, where you can battle other trainers. Uh, because that would be really cool. But I just feel like they have a ch big, giant chance to, like, introduce Pokemon to everyone. Pokemon Go could either be really good or really bad. The way it could be bad is if they charge microtransaction fees at the wazoo, like, oh, get a Master Ball or catch this Pokemon immediately if you pay, like, five, ten dollars. That'd be ridiculous. That'd be really stupid. That would just get rid of the fun. If they charge for Pokeballs, which they probably will, it could get rid of the fun. Um, if it no one uses it, it could get rid of the fun. Um... There's just a lot of ways, but there's a lot of ways it could be good. No microtransactions, or if there are, just be for, like, potions or something. Um, like, n no, just, like, Pokemon everywhere and make it easy for people who don't. Like, because a lot of the people who are going to get Pokemon Go are kids. They're not going to be, like, well, there are a lot of adults who play it, but there's a lot of kids who play it, too. And a lot of those kids aren't going to be able to fly or drive around town like i live in columbus ohio i don't even know if they're going to be pokemon what if i don't have a pokemon what if there are no pokemon in columbus ohio japan doesn't know about columbus ohio so um yeah those are just my thoughts tell me what you guys think thanks for watching please remember to like comment and subscribe 
and I'll see you all next time. Ikimasu.